Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another movie review. This is a biopic. It's called Buena Vista Social Club. And it's actually a really intriguing film. And I don't know why, but I've always been just completely enchanted and drawn and enamored of Cuba as a whole. And this is the story of a lot of different musicians actually from Cuba who, although it took a long time for them to go to the States, namely New York, <clears throat> it really gives you a good um, understanding of everything that they went through. Um... It's uh, very heartbreaking to see the conditions that they live in, but despite all that, they seem to be some of the most positive, optimistic people. <laughs> they kind of, I don't know why, but they remind me of Brazilians because they seem really relaxed and zen about everything. Um, I've got a friend who's Cuban, so I can say that for a fact. And they are very romantic. They're very hot-blooded and probably the hottest-blooded people on the planet with the highest libido. <laughs> um, the story itself is very interesting and, of course, talks about a lot of the instruments. And one thing I found absolutely fascinating is they talk about a guitar-like creation called the Laud or L-A-U-D. And the Laud was basically like a mandolin cross with a guitar. And it was brought over by the Moors. And the Moors were Arabic. They brought it over to Cuba when they were going back and forth and trading and etc. And apparently the Laud went through a couple of transformations as it was acclimated toward Cuban uh, folk music. And a lot of these musicians played um, the popular music or the, the folk music that everybody was so um, familiar with. And I recognized all the songs, especially Quizás, which is perhaps or <laughs> maybe. Actually, the real translation is perhaps instead of maybe. I don't know why they had it as a maybe in the subtitles. I thought, wait, no, that's not correct. So I'm thinking, okay, let a gringa tell you how this is done. No, 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 no. You're not Latina. Stop. Honorary Latina. Um, <laughs> but the story is absolutely incredible. It actually received a Grammy nomination, and I can see why the music is absolutely um <laughs> fantastic and if you like Cuban music then I would highly recommend it and of course it's kind of sad it has this really tragic story about how a lot of the great musicians are just kind of being left in obscurity and no one really recalls who they are and their way of music the music tells a story it's like uh, our folk ballads very uh, similar to that and it gives a really good tale and not only does it tell a good tale but it's musically Im impressive and a lot of these musicians they have just innate talent especially the one that plays the, the loud and he can play it with his hands behind his back I thought wait you can't do that that's not natural but Anyway, there he is playing the loud behind his back and thought, holy cow. Wow, I'm, sheesh, it's just, it's bonkers to think someone can do that and play it almost like a flamingo guitar. That's even saying more for his unbelievable skill and God tier like guitar playing. Um... <laughs> I love the movie. The movie I give two thumbs way up, five stars hands down. It's it's just one of those movies that if you're a music lover, especially out of Latin music, then this is the one you have to see. It is it is tragic and some of the things that you see 
you witness how the Cubans live or their lack of certain things in their everyday lives. But despite that, it doesn't seem like they are in want for anything. And of course, there's a dominoes game that's being played and they call it Mexican train, which is really kind of a racist term for it, but it's a very Latin game. I'm sure that there are others, but dominoes is one that was brought over by Latinos. <laughs> so it's one that has endured the test of time. It's a very old game. Uh, I still don't know how to play it though, but Beyond that, it's just, it's a really harrowing story. It's encouraging. It's enlightening. It's um, just so enthralling, I think, because you get to see just this whole endeavor of love come to fruition. But what I find most interesting is, since it was made in 1999, which is a couple years before, um, <clears throat> 2001 or 9-11 the Twin Towers are in this film and it's actually very unique to see the Twin Towers in any movies anymore they just they don't show it they don't show a skyline because it's way too depressing and seeing it kind of made my heart sink a little bit because I know oh those aren't there anymore but we have proof that they were and I think that's all that matters. I think it's a testament now. I, I don't see it as something sad yes it is a very tragic event but I think what they have now the um the memorial is just a, it's a testament to true grit and um how tenacious the New Yorkers are well how tenacious Americans are just you know in general but the movie is just absolutely spectacular it's it's one of those movies that'll make you <sighs> excuse me it's one of those movies that is so good it'll make you happy to be alive it's it's one of those and um it's subtitled it's a foreign film but it didn't really bother me because um I can understand a lot of Spanish, but this is one I definitely need the sub needed the subtitles for because they're speaking so fast and it's in a dialect and the Cuban dialect, the slang. I thought, what the heck? I'm not even used to that because uh, the only slang I know is a little bit of um, just regular Mexican slang, a little bit of um, El Salvadorian, but it's just this uh, Cuban slang is very unique in and of itself. I thought, oh, yes, most of your words are the same, but your slang, it's different. Evolution of language, people. <laughs> yeah. Every, everybody has a different way of conveying how they truly feel or what they're trying to depict in a sentence. And you can see that here. It's just, it's, it's one of those movies that it's just it's beautifully shot although it's there's stark a lot of stark contrast between America and Cuba um the Cubans they're they're beautiful people they're small in number but they're just they're absolutely gorgeous as far as I'm concerned that they're resplendent um I really don't have that much else to say about Buena Vista Social Club other than I'm glad I finally saw it and um at least they they live on through the recordings, and uh, they got to see the fruition of a dream come to be. And how many people can say that they've actually been a part of the process of seeing something like that happen? It is just, it almost makes me want to cry. It's just, it's so touching, but... That's pretty much all I have to say about Buena Vista Social Club. So until next time, live on and prosper. Ciao, Titi.